Stop. What are you, what oh, are you hey, doing to that hey. too? It's a hologram yeah. for starters. Well, no, I mean, she's here too, so it's, it's not just us, you know, and there's some people behind here, so we're good. <laughs> Sweet. Right? So we'll talk to all those people <laughs> later on in the episode. <laughs> face supposed to look like that. Suicide was deciding you could ignore your superiors. Let this be a lesson. Your only hope for survival is complete and utter loyalty. Sorry, I'm not quite sure where I am. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Keyboard Heroes, episode 46. As always, I am your host, Brooks, a.k.a. Sidor, and I am happy to invite you to join us for our very first episode on TGN.TV, Gamer TV, as well as Bootleg Media. Guys, we've been doing this for 45 episodes, and I've been joined by almost ev- on almost every one of these episodes by my co-host, the noob so nice, they named him twice, it's Stock, a.k.a. Callan. Callan, how are you, buddy? What's going on to our fans? Good to see you, and it's probably better that you see me because I do look pretty good. Um, I'm definitely excited I mean, to debatable. get started. Of course it is. Um, but uh, I would invite you just to you know pull up a chair. Um, this is going to be a wild ride. We hope this goes well. It should. Um, and I'm going to drop into the cantina here, get a little drink, and let's get this shit started. Yeah, indeed. Uh, we're usually joined by the third member of our video intro, Dimbo, Dimbo the mayor. Unfortunately, Dimbo has been detained by the storms currently being experienced in Texas. He's got no internet. Uh, he's hiding in his presidential, his mayoral bomb shelter. Uh, so you're stuck with just the two of us. Stock, what are you, what oh, are you hey, doing to that hey, tree like? It's a hologram hey, for starters. Well, no, I mean, she's here too. So it's, it's not just us, you know, and there's some people behind here. So we're good. <laughs> Sweet. Right. So we'll talk to all those people later on in the episode. <laughs> Um, Stock, why don't we kick it off and just, uh, we'll talk a little bit about ourselves because that's obviously what everyone wants to hear about. Um, Who doesn't? Yeah. So, I mean, for those of you who have joined us uh, for 45 episodes on Bootleg Radio, um, thanks for thanks for keeping on keeping on. But for those oh, of you yeah. who are just kind of picking us up on uh, TGN, uh, we're going to, you know, chat a little bit of why you should care who we are. Um, I'm Brooks, <laughs> a.k.a. Sidor. I've been gaming since I was knee-high to a duck. And um, first MMO was the uh, the beta of EverQuest, and just been loving it ever since. Um, not a role player though. You should you should not, get that out of the way right away. Not really right. a role player. My role yeah. playing is if I'm role playing, I'm not typing LOL. <laughs> LOL Z. Yeah, I will type. I will type laugh out loud. If I'm oh right wow. Role playing. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, works, I man. usually stick to rogue gear characters. I've drawn uh, or I've rolled up the uh, operative healer. Uh, and you do a fine job at it. Um, I do an adequate job. Let's let's not uh, give me too much credit here. <laughs> uh, stock, I've dragged you kicking and screaming through almost every MMO I can remember. Really? Pretty yeah. much. I mean, you have. Um, yeah, I'm Stock, aka aka Callan. What's going on, guys? Um, and uh, I we we've known each other for about what, twenty years. So. Uh, the whole entire time, we've basically just been gaming, and I was just kind of, I was talking to some people, um, you know, about this big endeavor, and we were, you know, it was the first show, and uh, I just realized, like, right away, and I don't know if you realize this yet, Brooks, but this just might be um, the orgasm of our nerd life. Like, this is, a, this is over-the-top nerdism. Um, <laughs> um, I never thought I would just get this far, and I'm, I'm glad I'm here with you, buddy. Boom. Yeah, yeah, boom. Um, let's <laughs> never, ever do that again, by the way. No, okay, fine. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, so I, I played a little bit of World of Warcraft, some EverQuest, uh, kicking and screaming, dragged through, uh, only got serious about raiding, um, a little bit of near the end of World of Warcraft, so like Wrath of the Lich King, please don't, don't kill me, that's just where I started raiding, I'm not that terrible of a raider, um, and now into SWOTOR, um, playing some uh, Bounty Hunter, uh, Power Check business, um, tank, and um, we're, our, 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 our guild keyboard heroes were pretty successful, uh, we've got everyone down, like, well, no. We have everyone down. We just don't have Soa down. So, I mean, it's like the same thing, right? Uh, well, I mean, RNG is RNG, right? 
hard mode. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So yeah, like you say, we've we've done most of the hard mode stuff. I, I wouldn't say we're uh, we're definitely not uh, bleeding edge of progression, but um, we're just not idiots. So and we're definitely empire. So I mean, <laughs> just loving X Split, eh? Well, I mean, you gotta you gotta play with it a little bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, but more than twice, and you're playing with it. Um, oh yeah, oh, back to the cantina. What's up, baby? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, guys. Everyone, we had a. This is PAX this week. Our big reveal for PAX was that we're bringing big you, weekend. Yeah, we're bringing you a video podcast. Um, better or worse than the video released by Bioware this weekend? What this one? Uh, well, we we got no, uh, the Novara Coast this weekend, and um, you know, was was our video that we released as a preview oh, better or I worse? See. Then <laughs> well, I don't know. Um, I don't want, yeah, theirs is probably better, man. I mean, they're professionals, uh, but ours was pretty good, you know, maybe close second because there's nobody else in the contest. Yeah, but yours uh, was the first video you ever made, so. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. So very there true. was that, right? Um, there was that, it wasn't too bad, but uh, yeah, let's should we take a look at this video? Yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll hop over and we'll take uh, a look at uh, the Novair Coast. The coastline's under attack! The Empire is trying to establish a beachhead! All forces to the artillery emplacements! We'll need at least two to penetrate the enemy shields! Lose this battle, and we could lose Danova! May the force be with us! Got the southern emplacement! Firing now! The Empire just got the western emplacement! Enemy is severely damaged! Keep them on the ropes! So that was no Vare Coast. Um, I mean, Stock, what did you what did you think about this video? I mean, I think it's got to be close to one of the best PvP videos they've put out so far. Uh, definitely. I guess I got three things. Um, number one, the war zone itself looks pretty cool. Um, it's got lots of uh, different angles on it. I love Alderaan, um, even though it's kind of broken sometimes, and you know they're doing a lot of changes to it. But I love the the, the Alderaan aspect, and maybe because. Um, I'm not tired of it because I never played any PvP until Star Wars: Old Republic. But that aside, um, awesome Warzone. It's got it's got a lot of big open, like it's a huge map. Um, second thing, the armor looking a lot better. Excited for the armor. It doesn't look terrible um, like my current set of PvP armor. Brutal. Um, well, it's only because you're not like a Sith Inquisitor. Because I think that armor looks pretty brutal. Well, yeah, okay. I don't true. know. Like you got like some kind of weird fan head, like. Yeah, the I feel like head. every Sith Inquisitor armor from here on out is always going to be like fans or feathers or <laughs> like there's if you if you rolled the most popular class in the game, I mean probably from on the Empire at least. Yeah, there's a really good chance that you lo your armor looks dumb. Yeah. Um, so I mean, two positive things then. Great Warzone looks fantastic. <laughs> uh, awesome PV or uh, awesome armor. Um, my, my, the biggest negative thing I probably have to say about it is um, the guy's voice in it, man. When he's just like, oh, they've taken the Western encampment. That's going to get annoying real fast. Just saying. Um, even during the video, I was like, oh, God, I can't. Uh, I hope I can specifically turn off that sound because I don't want to hear that every time 
uh, the objective switches from the Empire to the Republic because that's just <laughs> terrible, man. I don't want to hear that. Um, that's my only negative thing to say about it, um, other than I hope it works right. Uh, and um, I've been hearing, I mean, a lot of good feedback from the from the PTS uh, on the forums and people that have played it, and I've watched a couple videos on it. It's 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 looking like it's going to be a good war zone. Um, let's hope it lives up to uh, to the expectations. Yeah, I think one of the coolest things, like I've been trying to play this war zone over and over and over again um, on the PTS. Uh, I have like a fifty that I had copied over there, and I think what a lot of people are doing is leveling up. Uh, like a, a tune just to, to 10 and then uh, PvP with that because I haven't yet to hit a Q pop. Um, wow. So, well, I mean, it's just it's hard to test when I can't. You know, yeah, well, I don't but... think um, it wasn't a big offer for, I mean, not everybody got 50s to copy yeah, yeah. over, right? So, uh, but I do really like the way that the, the actual objective capture looks like it works, where you kind of like yeah. you channel that and, and the, the, you, it will go faster. If say like three or four people are channeling it, so you see like two or three people channeling it there, and then you kind of hold your level of capture. Yeah, you know what I mean. So like once, yeah. like you see right here, the bar, the bars they're they're kind of half and half, and then our, like our bar fills up, our bar fills up, and then boom, the empire wins. Right? Yeah. So I mean, it, you know, the way I kind of see that is I haven't played it, but I'm just kind of going on what I've seen in the video is that um, it looks like you're going to be gaining points from whatever portion you own of each objective, right? Well, I think you've got to, ha you've got to control two to score. Uh, I think okay. that's what I, I remember seeing that, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It, I just see, like, on, on the specific nodes going from left to right, I just see, you know, the like it gets pushed a little bit further, and it's not fully, it's like over 50%, and then um, the other side will start pushing it back the other way, you know what I mean? Yeah, so you've got to, you've got to hold them full right two of them to, to score i'm pretty sure okay cool um but yeah i mean like it looks really cool i think um like i'm wondering though because they, they said this is a same faction war zone where you can fight uh basically your own faction right yeah and but they're also t taking it so that every other war zone you can basically fight in a like a, a simulation mode do you think that like like it doesn't seem like this war zone. It's like story wise, really lends itself to fighting other empire, other republic people, right? Like, oh no, you, my 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 uh, this other dude in the empire is is establishing a beachhead. Let's get him so that the emperor <laughs> likes me more. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't well, know, man. Like, it's just, is this are we just getting simulation mode, or are we getting like full on Daniel Erickson RP the shit out of this war zone? Oh, man. He's got to be he's the, the, the one guy that's got to be pissed off about this is him. But I mean, he's he's got a stamp of approval on it because he's the lead game designer now, right? Uh, yeah, lead game designer, I believe. Um, uh, um, so, but I mean, I don't know. I think the decision to do this isn't like there's lots of pros and cons to both. Um, story wise, obviously, it's terrible. Um, but. Well, I mean, I don't know. Like, you I mean like I don't know if it's terrible, but like well, simulation mode. I, I don't. It, how is simulation it's, mode terrible? It's not terrible. I'm glad it's there. I'm just saying. I just didn't know they had like a holodeck or whatever in, in Star Wars. Yeah, well, I don't know. I just don't think that it's very simulation mode. I don't know. No, Bad taste no. in your mouth for simulation mode? Yeah, kind of. And I'm not an would you rather? Would you rather I just not be able to play these war zones against people though or what? Come on. Okay. Well, I'm just saying for me, um, it's cool that they have the simulation mode for PvP because I'm not going to play Hubble every time. That's awesome. I'm excited for that. Um, but story-wise, I'm kind of off my rocker on it. Just I'm just off. I'm oh, sorry. Oh wow, really? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm when I say I'm not an RP, -er, that just means I'm like 100% more RP -er than you are. You you do RP walk a lot of places. I do RP walk. You you, you, you will turn you, on your walk and b bring your gun out and just like. <laughs> Before every war zone and RP walk to pull the first boss in Eternity Vault. I mean, yeah, and then just... you. But the thing is, you forget to turn your run back on so that everyone runs past you, and, and I'm like doing like a swing around, around trying to like shoot you full of heels. Yeah, yeah, shoot and me then, full and of heels. And then all of we're the... back in the cantina. Folks. <laughs> <laughs> and then all of the the ads will take me, and then your RP walk gets us all killed. But that's neither here nor there because you are an awesome RP. -er. Thank you, yeah. sir. Um, Larry Everett will be proud. 
No, probably not. Probably no, not. No, no. Sorry, Larry. Yeah, probably still doesn't know who you are. So not a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but so, what did you think about the video? Like, uh, I mean, obviously you're okay with the simulation stuff, uh, story wise and otherwise. But what did you think? Um, about the armor, about the gameplay. Um, gameplay the, looks good. I, I've, the open, I've the, seen... the open map, it's very large. You can see everything. You can see all the objectives, all the points. Yeah, I have heard that it's quite large. Just, like, it's, it's bigger yeah. than Alderaan, right? Like... Yeah, there is lots of little um, spaces, and they actually specifically talk about this during PAX and, and when the release of this video um, for snipers and uh, gunslingers. Those are needed, though. Like you got out. Oh, have absolutely. Those. I agree. Um, but man, that that's gonna be. Uh, if you are not one of those classes, you better kill those classes because uh, they will just down you. No problem. P.S. Uh, check out my shirt. That that's that's great, man. That's great. I'm just saying. Um, but I, like Han should shoot first. Um, he, did. he did. And he, well, something else that should have been done first is uh, the ability to customize your UI. So yeah, just yeah. The, just this past week, we got a, a video of what's coming in 1.2 in, in terms of UI customization. So uh, why don't we check that out now, and then we'll uh, we'll talk a little bit about so, that video. Play that shit. Hi, I'm Michael Vogt, lead interface artist for Star Wars The Old Republic, and I'm here today to talk to you about the new user interface customization coming up in Game Update 1.2. I'll show you how to take advantage of some of the new features and maybe offer a few tips on how to set them up based upon how you like to play. The UI customization toolset incorporates features we've been planning for a while and some features that address feedback and suggestions we've received from the community. To start the process, you'll click on a small plus sign located on your ability bar. Before Game Update 1.2, this button opened your secondary ability bar. But clicking here now will open the Interface Layouts menu. In designing the customization system, we wanted to make sure it allowed the player to be creative with their UI. But we also wanted to offer the player some simple choices, and you'll find those here in a set of three pre-made layouts. This is the layout that you will see the first time you log in after downloading Game Update 1.2, and is the layout that most resembles the user interface prior to the update. This may be the preferred UI for a number of you who have grown used to the user interface as is. But for those of you who want different options, we include a couple of those as well. Similar to the default layout, the extended quick slots layout also includes your secondary ability bar, as well as both left and right side quick slots. This layout is intended to give you easy access to all your abilities. This pre-made layout is a throwback to other MMOs and is intended for experienced players. The player target and target of target frames as well as the mini-map are moved to the top of the screen while the chat window is moved to the bottom left corner. Beneath the pre-made layouts is the option to open the layout editor, which displays all the elements of the user interface which you can customize to suit your playstyle. When you first open the UI layout editor, you'll see the elements are sorted by color, green for primary elements like player and target frames, mini-map and social center, blue for secondary elements like your companion bar and target of target frames, and red for any UI elements that are toggled off by default. In the edit layout window, you can scale the size of your user interface to make the different frames larger or smaller. You can also access any saved layouts from the drop down menu. The bottom half of the edit layout window is the targeted edit menu. When you click an element of your UI, this area will fill with customization options exclusive to that element. For example, if you click on main quick slots, you'll have the option to adjust the size of the frame, the number of slots that are shown, and the number of rows that the icon slots have. Each element of the UI has its own individual options, in addition to the universal settings located on the top half of the menu. Of course, the layout editor also allows you to move any element of the user interface to a different spot on your screen. Just click on the element you want to move and drag it to the desired location. After you've got the layout how you want, you can save it to your PC's hard drive and then load the same layout to use for your other characters. If you make further changes, you can just save it again to update the profile. If you want to share your layout with a friend, you can send them a copy of the XML file which they place in their GUI profiles folder and use in their own game. With the ability to customize your user interface, you're able to personalize your layout to your playstyle or personal aesthetic. Hey, but don't think we're done. We have a lot of exciting plans for future updates to the system. What you see here is only the beginning. We look forward to hearing your feedback and seeing some of the layouts that you create and share. Thanks for watching. So that guy is new. 
Uh, yeah, I think he's in a he's been in a blog post once when they were talking about why they need to redo the UI. Right, right. Um, but I mean, like having played around, it was huge news. It's definitely stuff that has been needed for a while, right? Like, well, should have been at launch, but uh, that's all right. It's here now, right? Well, I mean, almost. One, as soon as 1.2 <laughs> goes live, like, we're here. It's, it's close to being close. Yeah, it's it's right around the corner, close to being close. Um, I played around with this a little bit on the PTS, and I, I gotta Michael, say, the lead interface it's, artist it's pretty Star much Wars exactly what I wanted it to be. To talk to you about the One thing I, I, I know you can't do on the PTS, uh, last I checked, which was probably on the weekend, take advantage of was some of the you can't snap elements together. Tips on how to set them up based but, on how I mean, this thing, this does everything else I wanted to do. He did say things are coming. And just the beginning of all the changes we're not, back we're not done here um i also thought it was funny that in like the, the default process, layouts they have uh, sign so if you liked our bar. crappy ui uh, from the beginning two, you can keep that open if you want um or we now, have a layout for layouts. experienced players um aka probably wow players and then they put this is the retro layout like like wow's dead people if you're living in the past this is the layout this is what's happening now this is the retro layout for experienced players that have joined our game from from after that game we won't game mention, which I already did. And it's Sorry. the layout that most resembles user. Um, other than that, very impressed with the UI stuff. Obviously, obviously we knew there was a dude in the back, like, or probably many dudes and gals, uh, dedicated to just this one thing because um, everyone wants it, everyone needs it. Um, healers especially, I would say. It didn't really affect me much as a tank, um, other than target of target stuff. Um, and the ability to like have my cooldowns kind of near where my mouse usually is during a fight. Other than that, not really. But for healers, I think um, this is going to be a huge update for them, and um, I'm happy for them because they keep me alive, right? So, um, at least most of the time, I try to. Yeah, you're terrible. What did you uh, What did you think of the uh, the old video? I'm just gonna get another drink from the bartender here. Uh, I did like. I, I obviously like the video. I think. Like I said, it's done a lot of things I wanted to do. Um, I, I really like that the, you have the ability to instantly change your UI to the one from another character. So like, yeah, you can save the um, the thing and then go uh, bring it in as a um, well. No, not even like yeah. that, that's from your buddy. So say you make a UI and oh, like, oh give me that. I want that. Over. So that would get over, uh, I would bring that over to me and, and save it in my uh, GUI preferences folder or wherever the fuck it is. <laughs> was it called GUI preference folder? GUI was like GUI, graphical user interface, right? But it's just, yeah. He, he says that like everyone's going to know where that is. I know Dim must, Dimbo's head would probably explode when he heard that. That must be where they keep all the elite uh, speed hacksaws, where you can just put those in there, right? Or are don't, we not? Don't, no. Not going to yeah. talk about that? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, I think it was really like, because like, you know, click a one button, I was able to. Uh, like you make my UI look because I had spent a lot of time customizing it on uh, my, my my side or character on the PTS. And right. When I went in, I roll I rolled up a, a Chiss smuggler. Yeah. And I wanted to like basically have the same UI. Mm -hmm. So you know, two clicks of a button uh, of buttons, and I was there. I had the same UI, the same exact UI that I had when um like when I set it up. Yeah. Well. You um, you have to love that because you are a quite a perfectionist when it comes to the way your shit looks. Um, we you, people, I just want to let you in on a little secret. You are talking to a guy that has three freaking monitors and plays Swotor on it, and uh, it goes across all three monitors. Um, he's got no room for anything else. It just stretches around him, envelops his life. I play this terrible. much Tor. I play this it's much. Brutal. Tour. Yeah. It's brutal. Um, um, looks terrible, by the way. If you ever go over to his house, yeah, it's it's just not needed. It's it's consumer overkill, is what it is. Well, I mean, I don't think it looks terrible. And it's it looks terrible. Anyway, moving on. Um, <laughs> I like as as I said, like the the need, the reason I want this so badly is because I do play on three monitors and to be able to move some of these things that I'm looking like way over here and then way over here, like. I need, I need to be able to move some of these elements. So like really, really happy that I can finally do that. Your need sounds like a first world problem, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how much availability a tour has in the third world, but, um, cool story, bro. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, how many th- people do you think are going to click on this button and be like, boom, I want to go retro UI. Give me WoW back. WoW is um, perfect. I, I want to well, play that. Unfortunately, uh, probably a large portion of... Nail uh, a percentage down. Really? 1 to 100, what is it? Uh, 30. Wow, 30. You think it's that high? Yeah. I think 30 um, of people that are playing right now because, uh, well, you know what? I know, actually. Like, how maybe, many people actually play with the stock UI from, from WoW? True enough. Like true the people enough. who are, are going to, who are just raging out that they can't like do what they want to do. Yeah. They, all, yeah. Yeah. They are really yeah. the ones that have already gone in and modified their UI anyway in WoW. Mm-hmm. So like, I don't think they really give a shit whether or not their UI is, looks like WoW. They just want to be able to move it so that they can do it. Look, it's a genie in a bottle. I'm sorry, okay, okay. Well, let's, let's um, not play with Explode all episode, all right? We've got to show what we're trying to do here. I mean, let's, right, let's, keep, right. this, let's keep this. Let's roll on forward, sir. Uh, yeah, right on. So um, that was the UI customization. Pretty excited about that. Hopefully, um, we Big should update. say, like, That's there was some rumblings important. about 1.2 1. was actually going to drop this week. I mean, yeah, I, I heard, heard April 10th, that. and then Dimo was saying it went the other way, and it wasn't going to be one t- uh, April 10th. Like, do you did did you see see when that was actually finalized? Is it still uh, the 10th? I wasn't following what happened. Um, all I could do is laugh when it did happen, though, because wow, <laughs> um, that is just a terrible f up, man. Um, so it's not coming on the 10th. Um, they kind of re- uh, reverted their statement, I guess. Um, I'm not really sure how that happens. I don't. How do you? you know, decide, oh, I'm going to put out the post and then, uh, uh, oh, you weren't supposed to do that yet. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> See, I've, I've, I've harped on this before. I think that they write these posts up like three and weeks in advance. Accidentally. And like, then they were like, okay, well, post that now because it's ready to go. So they, they go and post the PvP video and it's got the date in it. And they just copy and paste it and put it in. Nobody proofreads this shit because they've already, they've already proofed it before, right? You know who I'm going to blame on this? I'm going to blame an intern because they probably set all that stuff up. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to blame Courtney Woods or Joveth Gonzalez. Cause I think Jordan, Joveth Gonzalez fixed it. And I know Courtney Woods has made this mistake before. Nah, I'm, I'm going to blame Musco. It's probably his fault. <laughs> How dare you blame Musco? <laughs> I'm uh, saying. <laughs> oh no, wait, sorry. No, he was at PAX. It couldn't have been him, right? Um, I don't know. Man. Maybe. Okay. Um, but you know who else was at PAX? David Bass. Ah, David Bass. David um, Bass actually, was at PAX. I would say my favorite dev. Just gonna go ahead and say that. Yeah, yeah. I uh, although we, uh, you know, we did meet him uh, when we were in uh, super New York nice Comic- guy. Yeah, yeah. We uh, we made a trip to New York Comic Con in October uh, for uh, so before the release, and uh, you know we were there, played the game for the first time, met a couple people. Um, I thought that was, was the height of our nerdgasm. You think? I thought you don't so. Think until talking now. to each other over video about games. No, I thought so until now. Oh, until now, until, right. Okay. Until today, um, that I thought was the peak. Um, yeah, we met a bunch of cool people. Um, we actually, uh, um, we met David Bass, and we had a couple interviews. We met uh, our, another one of our favorites, Daniel Erickson, um, where he gave us some information that actually didn't turn out to be true. Yeah, lied um, to my face. Lied right to our faces. If you want to check that out, you'll have to go back and to And made fun of us for being Canadian. Uh, so yeah. there was that. Yeah. Uh, well, I but mean, he lived here for eight years. So he I mean, also lived here for eight years. Yeah. That son of where do you live? Montreal. Yeah, it's the worst place to live. Edmonton. Oh. Here I am. All the <laughs> um, it's cold. So let's let's get to this video. So um, I found this video, um, obviously on the YouTube. This is David Bass, and I think Damien cool, Schubert dude. is there. Uh, hello. And um, so so basically they've got a guy playing and they're just doing a little presentation of 1.2, showing some legacy stuff. And um, there's a point in the video, which we've got to pause right out here, um, where the guy that's playing is going to be, um, I think he's heading to Ilum. I don't know. We'll check it when we're, when we're playing it. Um, but he's in a load screen and it's embarrassingly long. And if you've ever been to Ilum, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so we'll go ahead and play the video and uh, just, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty funny. So, for example, if you uh, completed the bounty hunter story and then went ahead and created an agent, maybe, maybe. Sorry, this is not uh, this is not the video. Here we go. Not the video we are looking so for. Let's the planet to show you some of the other unlocks that we got here. And now the planet. 
Yeah. So, so they're just like they're chatting it up. Um, and it's just like it's like Damien just looking around. <laughs> He's I like, wonder I if this, the stance is the is like Bioware like they have to stand like this. They both both left hand in the pocket, right hand on the mic. Oh yeah. Like, I just love dude. how you know David Bass is just like shaking his hands like come on, there we go. come oh, on. There we, there, we there we go. There we go. There we go. It's finally here. Yeah, like, yeah. They go over and they're like I'm having a little hello and they're like. Why is it taking so long? You know, you know they got good machines up in there playing these games. It's still that long. It's like, if I was watching that, I was like, I'm going to buy this game. My computer's not so good, though. Look how long that load screen is. Wow. Oh, man, I got to get up Bad publicity. But uh, we love David Best. So uh, way to go. Um, I hear it was a good pack. So uh, keep up the good work. Hopefully we can get out to uh, another, another thing coming up maybe this year or next i hope we can do something like that yeah absolutely like i was a little i, I really wanted to go to pax one i really i've always wanted to go to boston and to pax when was aston boston. why uh because i'm wicked retarded um oh. so i like i've always wanted to go to boston one of the like one of like the great american cities boston new york chicago um if i if you live in an american city that you think is great and i didn't say it i'm sorry I live in your hat. Um. <laughs> uh, so I think I think another thing uh, we maybe we wanted to touch on. Uh, I think we're probably done trolling David, are we? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, is I think you know since we started this, you know, hopefully it's going well, and we actually press the record button, it's working. But uh, if we do have you know subsequent shows after this, um, you know, we we're going to be looking. <laughs> why is for... it all of a sudden an if? Why why, I, why just now this... have you decided that maybe this doesn't actually work? We'll see what happens. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, we're we're gonna be looking for lots of content. You know, anything that you've got that you make PvP videos, um, anything that you want us to talk about, troll, look at, um, present, show, all those things. Um, send us an email. Um, I think you got the email there. What is it? Uh, kbh at tgn tv. That's right. New email for the show is kbh at tgn tv. You can get us there. Yeah, so send us anything you want because um, content would be great and we love, you know, we got here because, you know, we, we hit, it's such a great community and people um, just working together and, and helping, you know, the sport door community keep going and getting better and better and better. Um, you know, somebody that helped us out a lot was B-Run, um, which Blockade is the... Runner. Uh, Blockade Runner, which is the director of SWOTOR um, sector, I guess, of TGN. Um, and you know, so just stuff like that. So we want to make sure we're doing the same thing for people. So you know, send your stuff, um, send us an email, and we'll see what we can do. We we'll check out your stuff. Absolutely, you should also, guys, should also check out um, Nothing Gaming and Swath Radio, who are all, uh, two other bootleg podcasts who are coming over to TGN uh, TV, and they're going to put on their uh, their stuff here too. So um, we're really excited to be here. Um, give us a like if you like what we're doing. Uh, write. A comment in the comments below uh you know troll we're we're not above a good troll we love uh we got the good self-deprecating canadian humor post a comment in the comments <laughs> below um <laughs> tell this guy how much he needs to p stop playing with xsplit and um that's callan by the way right there yeah yeah that's uh, me in game <laughs> wow um so I'm i mean just, guys yeah. thank you so much for joining us on um keyboard heroes Absolutely. Episode 46, number one on TGN.TV. You can also catch us on Bootleg Media on Tuesdays. We're going to release the show every Wednesday on T uh, on YouTube, TGN.TV, uh, YouTube.com slash TGN. Links in the video description below. Um, you can also, for the foreseeable future, catch our podcast on iTunes uh, in the regular audio format. Uh, but we will not be doing an audio-only uh, podcast anymore because... Frank, that's I'm, just too much damn I'm work. too lazy to do two podcasts. Um, so follow us on Twitter also yeah. uh, at keyboard underscore heroes and and, um, and you can always catch a good combo there as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I did make lower thirds for the Twitter, but they're not all the way in here yet. So hey, first show. I mean, it's been going. <laughs> it's been going pretty good so far. You know, it I hadn't had any uh, too many screw ups. You know, I got kind of I kind of drunk after this one Mott's Clamato, which is pretty <laughs> pretty sad. I'm just gonna, gonna hand this back to the bartenders. It's terrible. Take this shit, man. Um, so uh, I had a good time. I hope you had a good time. 
and um, we're de- we're definitely going to be doing this uh, next week, and hopefully for many many weeks to go. So I had a lot of fun, and uh, we're we're glad to be a part of it all. Absolutely, guys. For Stock AK Callen, I'm Brooks AK Sidor. In the absence, Dimbo the Mayor. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll catch you Ooh. next week. I no, just boomed I, I told you, you. No, no, that's not a thing anymore. You know it's going to be a thing now. Boom. <laughs>